In this video, uh, we will be talking about uh, 3D printing from flexible materials and I will show you some examples, uh, some applications and explain why uh, there is a huge benefit of printing flexible materials on our Trilab Deltic printer. Most customers know that uh, you typically print from uh, rigid uh, mechanical materials but uh, not many customers know that you can 3D print also from flexibles. From the huge portfolio of uh, flexible filaments you can choose different uh, vendors, you can choose different flexibilities, that means the shore, so-called shore, so you can have really soft materials, soft prints. You can also affect the flexibility of the final object by application of different infills. So the advantage is that you can have a huge model and you can differ uh, by the infill also the areas. And there are two kinds, I would say, few types of material. The most common is uh, TPU, which is the flexible polyurethane, and that's the most common flexible material on the market. Uh, very, very normal. There is also TPE. This elastomer has a huge advantage because it's been certified for the skin or food contact applications. So this is a very typical example of using flexible materials for design and prototyping. This is the design of custom shoe, uh, it's a barefoot shoe, which is printed in this orientation because then you don't need to have a support inside the shoe. So the reason why you print in this orientation is really that you print the shoe at once without any support inside. Another example of using 3D printing uh, from flexible materials is this example of small volume production of the flexible covers of the cable connectors. It's from our partner company uh, JetServe. This is also a great example of using flexible parts printed, being printed for cost savings. Imagine that this is the flexible cover that the company prints every day for different metal parts that are being produced by the company or sprayed or, or cleaned or milled. And this is the screw cover that they put every day to the part. And by this, they are saving thousands of euros per year. This is the great example of a combination of print from the flexible materials with a combination like a nylon or even metal parts because you print these things separately, put them together and you have so-called multi-material part. For printing from flexible materials, we are suggesting uh, the Deltic. Deltic is uh, produced in two versions, uh, with the height of the printable height of 30 cm and Deltic 2 Plus, which, which has a 50 cm printable height of the models. So you can print up to 50 cm tall flexible object. If you need to print the taller objects or, or the wider objects, then you need a Delta. The first reason is you have the fixed plate. So the model is not moving anywhere, that's why the vibrations that are coming from the movement they are uh, nearly, nearly zero, so that's, that's very important. The second important part for Deltic is called FlexPrint 2 extension. It's the second extruder and this second extruder allows you to directly extrude the flexible materials still on the light print head because the heavy part, the motor, is remaining on the frame. So that's why together with the light print head and the fixed print bed, you have the perfect surface even though for flexible materials which can be 30 or up to 50 centimeters tall. 